Hi. Good day. This is Edgardo Capillanes Channel reporting to you about COVID-19 update in the Philippines as of May 3, 2021. The objectives are the following. Number one, create public awareness. Number two, disseminate information. And three, encourage the public to continue follow the minimum health safety protocols or standards such as wearing a face mask, wearing a face shield, washing of hands, and physical distancing. Before we continue with the next area of the report, I would like to request to subscribe to our channel, Edgardo Capillanes. Click the bell, like, and share this video to others. Then we go to COVID-19 new cases in the Philippines on May 3, 2021, meaning today. We have the new cases or new positive cases were 7,255. Along with this line, additional data can be seen in the metrics. The new recovered cases which were 9,214 and the new died cases 94. Then we go to COVID-19 total cases in the Philippines as of May 3, 2021. The total cases were 1,062,225. This can be broken down into three components. We have one, total recovered cases, 975,234. Or this is equivalent to 91.81% of the total cases. The second component, total died cases, 17,525, which is equivalent to 1.65% of the total cases. And the third component, the total active cases, 69,466 and this is 6.54% of the total cases. Adding the three component cases, what I mean is that if we are going to add 975,234 plus 17,525 plus 69,466 equals the total cases which were 1,062,214 and the total cases were 1,062,214 and the total cases which 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 were 1,062,214 and the total cases 91.81 plus 1.65 plus 6.54 percent 
the total of which will be always 100%. And this matrix can be called as the COVID-19 total cases in the Philippines as of May 3, 2021 statistical analysis. And finally, we could end our report by seeing there were 91.81% of the total cases recovered from the pandemic. 1.65% died because of COVID-19 and 6.54% are active cases, meaning these are the victims of COVID-19 pandemic which can be seen in the public and private hospitals, the health facilities in the cities, province, or any other health facilities in the Philippines. That's the end of our, of our report today. Once again, I would like to request to subscribe to our channel, Edgardo Capillanis. Click the bell, like, and share this video to others. Thanks for watching.